So, um, before I do the writing video, I have a couple of mail calls. Um, uh, I think this writing video that I did, um, like it was last week, um, it's just a little long, so I'm just going to break it up into two. Um, hopefully I'll get out on the bike again one more time before the snow flies, but, uh, today's Saturday, it's raining, uh, well, it rained earlier and it's probably going to rain again based on the way the sky's looking. So, uh, maybe tomorrow, you know, we'll see. But anyway, I got enough video for two weeks, so that's what we're going to do. Try and keep it short. Uh, no, I haven't done anything with the tires. Um, frankly, I'm not sure I'm going to have time to do it. What with winter coming, I have a lot of stuff to get ready for winter. i got to get rid of all my stuff in the garage. Not that you could see that, but if I... Yeah. If i I got to get all this stuff uh, situated and... Uh, in a position where I can get the car in here. So that's going to be fun. I'll be basically putting 10 pounds of stuff in a five pound bag. So, okay. So first mail call, Octane Moto. Yeah, buddy. Uh, it's a good guy. Uh, I love his videos. They're short to, to the point. He doesn't hold back and you know, he's, he's very clever. I've, I've tried to do like little quick little clips like he does and it just never works out. So he's, pretty talented that way anyway here's a quick video of him you know are you YouTube serious or not so much really there's quite a lot of people man that that aren't YouTube serious you know that to them it's strictly just that Okay, so go check out his channel if you get a chance uh, I think you'll like it if you especially if you like writing uh, video uh, uh, Moto vlogs. <laughs> trying to, my head's not working fully today. And then the second mail call from Vegas, baby. Uh, Tom's busted knuckle garage. Tom uh, T Noble T T A Noble, T -A -Noble sixty nine. Uh, anyway, links in, in the description for both these channels. Uh, those are nice stickers, but very. Uh, <laughs> very nice, very well made. And uh, he was kind enough to send me some Summit stickers. Very cool. Those will be going on the toolbox. And uh, so we'll, he'll be going up next. Uh, he's doing great work on that 68 Camaro. Hopefully he's got the uh, washer and dryer out of there by now. <laughs> he's had a couple of setbacks, but you know what? He's learning along the way, and uh, he seems to be enjoying it, even though it's taking a lot longer than he probably wanted it to. So anyway, quick video here of him. And uh, then continue on Friday, uh, running around getting parts and a few things. And then uh, we'll pick up today and where we're at. So uh, enjoy and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see if we get this tank in today. So check out Tom, uh, link below, you probably already know him, but Octane Moto, same thing, you probably already know him, but link in the description, so uh, we'll be putting these on the board. Oh, sorry, cabinet. <laughs> okay, we're up on the cabinet. It's perfect, it's a good spot for it. I did, was thinking nothing would be able to fit in there, but I was wrong, you're up on the cabinet. Uh, awesome sticker, by the way, that is, uh, thicker and better well done than I thought it was going to be um, and very that that couldn't have been cheap <laughs> so not good on you man that's that's awesome sticker and then we got Tom right there along with all these other fine youtubers oh, probably couldn't see that too well <laughs> Sorry. And then you dizzy. And then my summit. And uh, the other summit stickers that came with it. Um, I actually have other toolboxes. Those will go on. So thank you, Tom. I appreciate that. And uh, enjoy the writing video coming up next. And um, till next week, guys.
Okay. So, first week in my new job, right? Um, I keep getting people asking me, you know, how was it? How is it? How's it going? And I have to say, honestly, I don't know. It's too early. Um, so they had me uh, come in an hour later than my normal start time on Monday. Uh, probably just, you know, so everybody, they knew everybody would be around and I could fill out paperwork and, you know, do whatever you normally do when you first start, right? So, um, so yeah, so, okay, so we, uh, I went in an hour later, started at nine instead of eight, right? Then, uh, they took me out to lunch, as is per usual. Uh, that lasted oh, about an hour and a half, two hours maybe. Um, and then everybody cut out at three to go to a party at Dave and Buster's because... Uh, uh, well, first it's uh, Customer Appreciation Week, but uh, more to the point, uh, they got funding uh, to stay, uh, keep the doors open for uh, over a year, and uh, it's, you know, that was, the ink was dry Monday, right, so they wanted to make sure everything was in place. So Monday wasn't a good gauge. And, to, you know, the rest of the week I've spent just reviewing everything, because nothing, and I mean literally nothing, is documented. They have this huge, complex setup, uh, you know, huge and complex for a hundred employee company. Um, most of which is in the cloud, and I don't know, okay, fine. But... You know, I can right away, I can tell security isn't done as well as it should be. Uh, there's no configuration uh, documentation. So I'm literally having to go through everything one by one and kind of figure out, you know, what works, what doesn't, you know, why it was done the way it was. Of course, nobody around can help me much because they had a company come in and do all the work. And, of course, that company, you know, wanted to spend their money, you know, and not necessarily provide them with the best service for them. So, and I'm not even done on my fact-finding mission. This is going to take a while. And uh, so I told them uh, we had a little meeting Friday, uh, just a, you know, touch base sort of meeting just to kind of see where everything's at. I told them, this is... This is not going to be an easy process. This is not going to be a quick fix. Uh, I'm going to need at least another week just to go over all the configuration files and everything. And, you know, because I'm not, you know, I spent a lot of time on the servers and the domain, but I didn't go over the phones yet. I haven't gone over the switches yet. Um, I will say the Cisco switches seem to have gone in well and seem to be configured well. But I have no idea how they're configured. I mean, I don't have any sort of documentation on the setup. So, I need that. Uh, they want me to put a DR, a disaster recovery plan in place, but I can't do that until I understand how everything's in place and why it's in place the way it is. Uh, for some of this stuff, it might make sense to have it the way it is. I don't know. So, you know, uh, it's just, it's... It is what it is, right? And then my wife has us busy all weekend, and I'm like, you know, I could use a break this weekend. I really needed some time off this weekend just to decompress. You know, it was, it was a long week. Uh, so it is, you know, I'll do what I got to do, I guess.